Carnes is watching the forecast for you this afternoon. Cedric usually does the weather at four, but David was kind enough to step in a little early because the air conditioning is working. <laughs> Absolutely, it's much better in here than outside, wherever Cedric is, right, I'm sure. Uh, looking at 96 right now, not quite as toasty as it was this time yesterday, but still toasty enough, right? Winds under the north, a little hot breeze blowing on you at 13 miles per hour. It's 93 in Cleveland, 88 in Murphy, 91 in Athens, and oh, splashing in some puddles. Boy, wouldn't that be nice? We'll get a little rainfall made maybe over the weekend into next week, but for the rest of this evening and into tomorrow, the raindrops will be few and far between. Uh, looking at temperatures getting down into the 80s a little bit quicker tonight than last night. 88 by 8 p.m. will be down to 85 by 9, down into the 70s by 11 o'clock tonight. Pollen forecast, just looking at the grass back in the moderate category. Trees are low, uh, but present. We do have some pine and magnolia pollen floating around, and our air quality has improved, but it's still in the high end of the moderate category uh, because of levels of ozone still trapped close to the surface of the earth. So we'll continue with the heat and humidity through the weekend, though I do think we'll see the humidity or the heat rather dropping down into the low 90s. The humidity is going to be with us both Saturday and Sunday. We will see improving rain chances as we move through the next few days and next week. We're also looking at highs in the upper 80s. So that is something exciting to cling to as we suffer through this heat, right? Looking at our clouds and radar together, you can see a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder to our east, to our south. Nothing over the Tennessee Valley nor will there be tonight as that front continues to work its way south and east. Notice though on Friday, I am putting in a 20% chance of some sparse little pop-up showers or thunderstorms east of Chattanooga. They'll be few and far between, but we may see a couple popping up, so we'll keep an eye out for that for the commute home. Again, that's east of Chattanooga. And then on Saturday, uh, better chances, all up to a 30% chance of a few of those scattered showers and thunderstorms backing through the Tennessee Valley. That's Saturday afternoon, and we'll be in the low 90s on Saturday and then on Sunday I'll put it at about a 20 to 30 percent chance of a few showers and thunderstorms on Sunday afternoon. Also, we move on into Monday and you take a look at Monday and you're looking at an even higher chance of showers and thunderstorms with a front that's going to slide through that front as it moves into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We will see yes, slight chance of a stray shower each day, but the bigger deal is going to be slightly cooler air, upper 80s and we'll see and don't get too excited about it, but the humidity is going to drop a little bit. So with upper 80s, slightly lower humidity next week will feel much better than what we've been going through this week. So keep that in mind. Uh, tonight, clear, warm, not as muggy. Again, we're not going to be as hot, slightly less humid as we move through the evening. Uh, temperatures are going to drop into the uh, 60s, low 70s in Chattanooga, low 60s heading up into the Blue Ridge. And then tomorrow, hot and humid. Again, a few stray storms east of town. Once again, we'll hit a high of about 96 in Chattanooga. And we'll be in the low to mid 90s up and down the valley upper 80s in the higher elevation. So our storm alert seven day forecast, putting that chance of some showers east of Chattanooga at 20% for Friday, 30% chance for Saturday and Sunday, low 90s over the weekend, and the humidity stays intact. Humidity drops a little bit. Monday, best chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe a stray shower popping up here and there, but we will see slightly lower humidity, especially Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we're back up to 90. You knew it would return on Thursday, guys.